All right, welcome back to Sam Houston State Franchise here on College Football 25. We've already used our, our, our recruiting points here. We've got some commits. We've got an uh, athlete who looks like he's probably our running back, Manny Sora. Soraya, maybe. Nick Ro Nolan Rohrwasser, who is a run-stopping linebacker. We got a safety, Enrico Bean. We have a, a three-star center here. And we're leading on quite a few of these other guys. Hopefully this four-star route-running receiver we can get. Um, I'm putting 65 points on him. We have a two-star tight end that we're not putting any points on. Um, you know, some of these guys I'd like to be putting more points on. The junior college guys, you know, maybe are are the guys that maybe we won't put more points on. We only have 350 hours, so we can only do so much, but we'll jump right into things here against UTEP. And hopefully we can take them out, come away with a, a victory. But as I open my monster very loudly there. We're one in seven on the season, I think. We beat an FCS team. We lost everybody else, so. Uh, we went 0-12 last year, I think, so. You kept getting the ball first. Frazier coming after the quarterback. He's going to throw it away at the last second. There's a read option type play. That's going nowhere. It's third and 12. You tap four and four on the season. And nearly a safety there. Just barely getting it away in time. Probably in reality could have called intentional grounding there, but. I have the ball with good field position here. Now let's let's start out. Let's go read option here with Glenn Butler. He's not gonna get much, if anything, on that play. Just going to check it out to the running back. Got to get used to playing with this uh, college football passing, the revamped passing, uh, since I've been playing so much at it. Trying to take off with Butler, yeah. That's not going to go much anywhere. And it's fourth and nine. And we will punt here. Not a great punt. Going to take a little bit of a bounce. Would have liked to have pinned him back more than that, but just did not punt the ball well. And they'll get it at the 26. There's a handoff. That was a good play. They're out to the third and nine. We might just keep blitzing here. Another run. He's going to make a man miss. He's going to pick up a first down. It's 
somehow I gained a three. That one's caught down the field. Blitz couldn't get there. Now they're going hurry out. Frazier coming after the quarterback. He's going to get him. Going down for the sack. It's going to make it second and 21. There's a read option. Now, third and 18. Just don't want to give up a big play here. The screen is batted down. They're going to line up for the field goal. It's a bit of a longer one, but it is you know, pretty much straight on. But they're going to miss the field goal. And it will remain zero to zero here. There's a handoff to Gentry. John Gentry gonna pick up three yards. Wanted wanted to take that, but Messed things up there. And... Going down the field, incomplete. And they're going to hit the the kick, the punter. This is going to be roughing the punter. This is going to give us a first down. So we've got a first down out of the 50. There's a handoff to John Gentry again. He gets five. I'd kind of like to keep feeding him, but we're going to go with an RPO here. Maybe hit Garza. And Garza might be gone. Touchdown. Sam Houston State. We'll kick the extra point. I'm not gonna, not gonna push things here. Five plays, 66 yards. That drive extended by the uh, drive extended there by the roughing the kicker. But Step with the ball back here. Here's the throw. Not gonna get the first down. So they will punt here on fourth and one. Or at least it looks like they're going to. the ball here to 30. But 
Evans. Play action screen. Evans got space. Evans can't make a man miss, though. He's going to go down at the 42. Great play on the screen there from Evans just to get out in space and pick up some nice yards. And Gentry with a nice run now. Getting down and near the 10 yard line. All the way to the 11. A throw to our other tight end. He's going to pick up four. We could try this jailbreak screen again. If we have good blocking, it should work. Evans getting to third and in inches now. And I think we just run the ball here with John Gentry. Touchdown, John Gentry. And we're going to have a 14 0 lead here against UTEP. Six yards on the run there. They're going to get a first down. For 31. Holloway shooting up the middle there, but running... Past the the running back there, that wasn't wasn't a very good blitz. Um, quarterback gonna lose a yard on the run. He really has not been successful in this game running the ball at all on these read options. Third and three now. Chance to get off the field here. And that one's going to be incomplete. We will get off the field. Here's the punt return. We're going to get some space here. We, we might go all the way. And it's a punt return touchdown for Sam Houston. And we're up 21 to nothing. And we may just go chew clock the whole second half. If we can get another score here, I mean... And that should impress the recruits a little bit. They're, you know, they may be a little leery at this point, you know, we're... Having a bad season, but win here might impress that four star receiver. I don't know. Show them that we're not completely terrible. Of course, I think the last game I played was against Liberty, and uh, we, uh, we lost that game by a point, ended up down early, and then came back and just couldn't quite finish that game. So, UTEP punting again here after not being able to pick up a first down. Looks like we hit the punter a little bit, but they're not going to throw the flag. Not as big of a return that time. Still out to the 45 is not not bad. Just going to hand this off to Gentry. 
He's gonna get seven. I think we give it to him again. Third, second and three, I mean. See if he can get three yards. I mean. He's gonna take that one out of bounds at the 39. Defenses look better in this game, I, I will say. I mean, of course, you got a team like UTEP. They're not the most high-powered offense. But go with a direct snap here to John Gentry. Run behind Garza here. Not able to take that one all the way or anything, but he did pick up the first down. Kenny into the game now. It's the throw to Garza on the RPO. He's going to get eight. That puts Glenn Butler over 100 yards passing for the game. Flipping that one out to Gentry. He's going to make a move, and he's got a touchdown. John Gentry now with a receiving and a rushing touchdown. And we look like a different team out here. Of course, you have maybe, maybe not the competition that we've been playing. Oh. And we've had some closer games this year, I think. Well, I think. I, I don't remember every game we've played. but And they just keep trying to run the ball. We're a better team. I mean, we're getting better. I mean, unless we seriously blow things here, this should be a win. We may end up giving up some points at some point. But... We've had we've had good field position. We've had a punt return touchdown. Another handoff. It's gonna get the first down. I would. I would like to have a little bit of time left when we get the ball back. I would also like to just maybe hold him to a field goal here. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Probably not. It's probably going to be a touchdown. First and goal with the three. They could take this to the gym in the morning, but I don't think they will. Now it's the gym in the morning. We did actually stop them there on first downs. I'll take Hayes here. That's a touchdown. UTEP trying to get back into the game, and I think rather than force the ball down the field here, we're just going to kind of take things slow. Two minutes to go, all of our timeouts. Let's, let's run the ball, maybe see if we can't get a chunk play or something. You know. Let's just go inside zone here. I'd really rather not throw the ball. Even though there's not a lot of time. So we pick up seven there. That's fine. Maybe go for the pass now. 
Maybe just throw it to the running back. He's got the first. I mean, don't have don't have to get in too much of a hurry. Looking for green. It's incomplete. I mean, I don't want to go with the all goes or a slot fade or something. I'd kind of actually like to run the ball here on second and ten. Entry with the first down. Out to the 50. We could go with this motion verticals halfback angle thing. Get it out to McKinney. Second and one. Bring John Gentry back in the game. Just hand it off to him. Oh, he's going to lose two yards there. Okay. We go back to the the same play, but we got Gentry in the game this time instead of McKinney. Throwing it across the field. Yeah, I can't get a good pass. There. Um, fourth and three. I think we go for this. Lined up in the wildcat. Gentry going to pick up the first, and now maybe we'll call timeout. Still probably need a little further here to get into field goal range. Gentry going to pick up six yards. Gentry with another catch, and John Gentry going to get up there and get out of bounds at the 11. I was thinking we were probably just looking for a field goal here, but now we might be looking for the touchdown. It's McKinney getting up to the two. This is going to be an RPO. Probably going to hand this off to John Gentry here. He's going to get it to third and inches. Now we'll call timeout. Still one more timeout. And Gentry out of the backfield. That's a touchdown. Moving down the field there very well and just able to utilize our time very wisely. Makes it in some run plays there. Not looking to just force it down the field. And I think I think we definitely go chew clock the whole second half. UTEP gonna Take a knee here. And that's the end of the first. get the ball to start the second half here and I think this is where we're gonna turn shoot clock on. I'm gonna call for the fair catch here. Let's go into coach adjustments. Let's go chew clock. I could look for green here. 
We're gonna try to hit green. I think it's five. It's not a bad play. And we'll start eating some of this clock up. Hand off to Gentry, but he gets nothing there. for the tight end. He can't get much. We're going to have to punt. But up 28 points, I'm not extremely worried about it. it they hit our, our punter again. But no flag that time. <laughs> Launching this one down the field. It looked like it was nearly caught and forced out. Probably could have been picked, but we just don't have. And that's a fumble. That was a backwards pass. It's picked up by Hayes. And that's a touchdown. What a what a strange play there. And it's, it's now 42 to 7. And I'll show you in case you are wondering. It is still Heisman difficulty. Um, UTEP just maybe not the best team. Um, Should have watched out on that one too. That might also have been a backwards pass. Hayes is on fire here. Looking over the middle, they're gonna have the first down here on third and 15. But I think we've got this game well. I mean, it's 42 to seven. And that one's intercepted by Allen. Another turnover for this UTEP offense. And we're going to coast to our second win of the season. First win of the season over an FBS team. As our first win of the season was over FCS. Throw that bubble. Gets us to a third and three here. Go RPO read flat and probably just throw this to Garza. He looks open enough. And he's gonna take it all the way down to the two. A handoff from Gentry. He gets nothing. He's actually gonna lose a couple of yards there. Maybe throw this to Garza. Maybe Evans if he's open. Garza's wide open. He's going to take it in for the touchdown. Once again, we'll just kick the extra point here. I don't see any reason to go for two. Unless we just wanted to make it an even 50 to 7. But we won't. We won't do that here.
coming close to the end of the third quarter here. I mean, if we get the ball back, we're, we're going to be running clock. It's another one of those read option plays that really hasn't worked for him today. The throw and it's caught and gonna break a tackle. Gets out nearly to the 50 to the 49. There's another big play. They're moving down the field here. It's just, it's a little too late for it to matter. First and goal at the five. I mean, they may score here, but there's the pitch. Breaking the tackle. That's a touchdown for UTEP. Makes it 49 to 14, pending the extra point here. Let's just see if we can't run out a lot of this clock here. And we've got the backups in. Bauer going to hand that off to McKinney. And we're going two clock here. Jace Bauer's our impact player. But we chose to start the freshman. Glenn Butler. for Hewitt there. Or is it Jewett or Jewett? Not sure. Fumble. UTEP going to have it. With three minutes to go. I think that was McKinney there on the fumble. Got a lot of our backup defense in as well. There's a gain of six. UTEP still got the starters out there. We don't. We're relying on some of these backups to come in and finish the game. And they may allow points. That's fine. We're up by a lot. We just don't want them to allow points too quickly. That one's knocked down. That was a nice play. And you know, maybe it's helped a little bit that this game has been in the in the rain. Um, maybe it's been a, a bit of an advantage for us but to go on the road at Utah, a team that you know is is not doing extremely well but they're four and four and you know we're we're one and seven so they're gonna line up for the field goal okay but I mean they're having a better year than us whether they're having a, a good year or not is you know not really the point but they're having a better year than what we're having and to go in and beat a team that's that has a better record than you on the road is is always nice. Um, we'll just run the ball here and hopefully McKinney doesn't fumble again. Run it again here and we'll take it to the two minute warning and then maybe we'll think about a throw to pick up the first down. Go with this RPO. It doesn't matter. It's a 10 minute warning. Um, let's go play action.
We're gonna get sacked. I mean... It's okay. On the ball. It's gonna bounce way past the returner there, all the way down to the 19. And that one's intercepted by Robinson. Robinson Jr. there on the pick. And, uh... Now we can work on running this clock out here. They're not going to tell us to take any, because I guess UTEP still has timeouts. McKinney on the carry. Bring McKinney in the Wildcat here. Need to run this under 40 seconds before we snap it. McKinney's got the first down. We don't have to snap the ball again here. Give McKinney one more carry. He gets about three. I mean. That's the game. Really good win there. Rivalry game, too. To come into UTEP and play this well. I mean, I, I'm, I was impressed with our team. We held the UTEP quarterback 10 for 19 for 110. Two picks and a touchdown. Rushing, I mean, they had 149 yards rushing for their running back. But. A lot of that was kind of towards the end of the game, so the backups were in. Um, Glenn Butler, 19 for 22, four touchdowns, no picks, 207 yards, probably the best game of his career. John Gentry, 16 carries for 83 yards and a touchdown. McKinney did have the fumble, but, I mean, he was coming in in garbage time a little bit. Uh, John Gentry. Six catches, 60 yards, two touchdowns. Garza had two touchdowns. Everybody else contributed a little bit. Um, and then defensively, I mean, we had lots of tackles for loss. Two guys with three, three guys with two, um, half a sack. So and only, only really one sack in the game. But um, Amon Allen with a pick, Jojo Robinson Jr. with a pick, and... We had the fumble recovery by Hayes for a touchdown. Not a forced fumble, though. I mean, just sort of a backwards pass. That was, you know, a little errant there. Able to be picked up by our defense. So we'll advance the week here. I'll see if maybe anybody wants to commit. But um, No, but we are number one on the receiver still. We're going to get a level up here. Our championship contender goes up to D+. Plus. I mean, I guess that helps. But we're going to take on Western Kentucky next week. And uh, I'm going to try to have the videos out a little quicker. So um, we'll take on them. Hopefully we do well. And then maybe hopefully we can get a couple of recruits. But if we play like we did against UTEP, I think we'll... We'll be having a good time, so I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.